Hello, and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. The third video to my 3D printer series, and uh, this installment is actually fairly uh, unscheduled for me. I've uh, come across a uh, problem and uh, happened to just document it on the fly without uh, thinking and able to uh, share my experience of my first major fault and how I uh, got through it. I do apologize that the um, content's a bit slim on the visual end of things and there is a couple of uh, dodgy MS Paint uh, markings to help uh, demonstrate and show what I'll be talking about in this video. Now from the first two videos you would have noticed I've been printing off a heap of Gatling guns. Now I plan on giving them to a lot of uh, my local hobby friends and uh, local uh, hobby clubs as uh, gifts knowing that this is the sort of thing I'm getting into and after a few days of not printing due to work I got back into it and uh, knowing that the uh, particular 3D model that I'm printing off of the Gatling gun is a bit dodgy and had a lot of uh, failures trying to scale it to get smaller uh, against reason I managed to get it an increment 10% smaller we started printing it, walked away and came back to uh, this, it was printing in midair what I'm really uh, worried about is uh, where the arrow is pointing the giant molten piece of uh, plastic with the hair sticking out of it the uh, nozzle also had a lot of uh, black um, carbon gunk on it as well. I tried uh, clearing the nozzle and set up for another print. It printed very little of the second Gatling gun and it just stopped and started uh, printing in midair. Tried to clean the nozzle from the outside wearing gloves and used the um, in the maintenance menu extruded a bit of plastic. Uh, nothing happened. Tried to remove the reel of uh, plastic and uh, re-put it in and the extrusion motor was uh, jammed. Plastic could not come in or out. I uh, looked online and tried to get some um, help via the instructions in a forum and uh, this uh, demonstrates the issue quite well in this diagram. Now we've got the uh, little black cog which is the extrusion motor and the bearing on the other side was absolutely caked in uh, plastic dust also past the heating element is the nozzle because the nozzle doesn't actually heat itself the plastic uh, hardened and actually got burnt in the very fine tip of the nozzle so plastic could not extrude out and it cannot pull back out again because the um, extrusion wheel or motor which is a stepper motor was uh, caked with dust and couldn't do any more pushing so I had to disassemble the uh, whole head this was uh, quite easy to do and the instructions were very clear on the steps with our photo um, pictures They're very helpful now first this is the head pulled out um, and the multi pin ribbon cable pulled out from the main printer which is to the right there's a red arrow with a hole that's where the plastic actually enters I had a little trouble trying to find where that hole was and I had to go through video and not um, the uh, instructions and there's already a piece of plastic in there and you just feed it in and it melts through and it's uh, pretty easy but uh, the instructions and the actual toolkit comes with all the allen keys and wrenches and uh, whatnot uh, while and I'll emphasize on this while it was still in operation, hot, and I used the extrusion um, function. Then I uh, removed the nozzle, not when it's cold. Apparently, you can strip the brass thread. Uh, make sure you follow the instructions. With the nozzle off, immediately I uh, put it in thinner. Uh, lack of thinner, I didn't have any acetone. Let it soak for exactly 24 hours, as per instructions. I pulled it a few times out and tried to push a pin through the uh, plastic inside didn't soften enough until near the end and we'll explain what I did by then now to the second fault the actual uh, plastic still stuck in the entire assembly of the head uh, following the instructions and using the allen key I uh, pulled it apart you have to remove some of the um, ribbon cables out of uh, the little sockets 
sort of like a computer component uh, assembly. And be very careful not to strip or pull the wires apart or anything. Very fragile. But once you uh, split the uh, plastic from the uh, stepper motor, I noticed the cogs were uh, very sharp. And there was a lot of uh, plastic uh, build-up to where it was almost um, smooth like a sphere. And this explained why uh, the plastic wasn't going in and out. Uh, this was easily cleaned using a uh, clean paintbrush. And uh, the remainder of the plastic stuck in the heat exchange would uh, extrude out later when the nozzle was clean. 24 hours later, exactly. And at this point I'm pretty nervous not knowing what I'm doing is going to work or not. The uh, plastic within the nozzle uh, hole is soft but still not coming out. Uh, otherwise I'd recommend to soak for another 2-3 days. But I happen to have some uh, micro drill bits. The uh, hole is exactly 0 0.4 mil. Uh, I have uh, drill bits smaller than that. So using a 0.3 to a 0.2 very very thin and very very carefully I uh, drilled a hole out. Now be very careful brass is a very soft material and it can be drilled through by hand. Uh, make sure you're only drilling and the uh, remnants coming out is of a plastic colour not of a uh, brass colour. Uh, everything was assembled as per instruction and I fed uh, the spool of ABS in like a new spool and uh, everything just extruded out absolutely perfectly fine and uh, things were printing out better than uh, brand new as they print out a certain amount of stuff just to uh, test it out. For the remainder of the day I'm almost out of uh, my ABS free spool where I'm going to be turning to PLA uh, much preferred as a modeler I uh, bung out four Gatling guns. One, I was a bit too rough taking it off the sellboard and kind of um, broke one leg off, which I just chucked in the bits box. Though these three came out just as smooth, perfect and nice as uh, the printer is new. So this is the idea of what I was attempting to print and the pictures of uh, the failed uh, pieces were uh, meant to be these. So that's uh, getting through uh, a blocked nozzle and doing a full clean out of the entire uh, head. Not too sure exactly what went wrong when I wasn't supervising it, but uh, it worked out. Uh, still being new, and I have a lot of questions and exploring as always. Looking at the spool at the rear of my 3D printer, I'm noticing a lot of deposit of dust. Now, assuming um, the ABS is rubbing up against the other strands ABS and just uh, producing uh, this dust everywhere, I don't know what. Im I don't know how this is going to affect uh, the internals and the running of the actual uh, machine. I think it might explain why there's a sleeve over it on the inside, not to code into um, any of the uh, gears or uh, belt drives, but. Uh, it probably explains why the um, stepper motor was absolutely trashed and full of uh, white powder. Um, this material can somewhat disintegrate. I'm very interested to see if PLA is similar or uh, different as it's a completely different material. But uh, in conclusion, uh, that's the first major bits of work that I had to do on my 3D printer. I probably printed close to half a kilo of models out and I uh, come across my first problem. I don't know if it's because the bed's slightly out of whack or I'm doing something wrong or there's faults in the actual models being printed. I suppose it's everyone's conditions are different. There's different um, atmospheric and uh, ways that the print is being uh, moved and there's lots of moving parts inside. Uh, different faults will come and go as well as I'll have to look into calibration fairly soon once the bed becomes uh, too unstable and it starts affecting my printed models. If there is interest, this will be covered in this video, even though every printer is differently. I suppose the knowledge is uh, fairly uh, universal. So we'll look at that in future. Also, my Alphonse uh, Full Metal Alchemist helmet is almost ready, and a video discussing on modeling uh, into the ABS material and turning a 3D printed object into a scale model video will be ready fairly soon. I'm hoping by next week. 
Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time. If you have any requests, questions, or whatever, I'll do my best. But again, I'm still a student and a beginner at this. Catch you later.